Good morning everyone. This is another session on esoteric sciences and we will be discussing few more points as to how handwriting analysis, tarot card readings, palmistry, numerology and astrology, uh, how, how all of them are connected, even face reading and we'll be discussing about few topics and how to see that you know how different um, uh, different sciences can relate to the same thing if you're getting all those uh, factors then it probably means that you are definitely that so uh, let us take an example let us take the intuition part okay now the intuition part if we go by the cards that is the tarot card readings then the high priestess is the most important card because it has the powers of uh, two and also it indicates towards a lot of uh, intuitive abilities okay and the next important card becomes the moon because the moon is also very emotional creative kind of a person so if you do get this card also yes to a high degree it will mean that you're very very intuitive and sensitive okay now getting ahead if the same thing has to be checked from the palm then we know that a cross on mount of jupiter then um, a cross in the quadrangle then the presence of the bow of intuition or uh, even other the moon sign here okay the moon sign or the moon crescent here or uh, any other signs here or cross here cross here or a lot of random lines because this would mean that the person is sensitive again indicates to a person who's very very intuitive also having more than one intuition crescent can um, you know uh, magnify the traits of intuition so that's how you have to check also if the fate line and the sun line starts from the moon or if the amount of moon itself is quite developed then it also will indicate towards a lot of interest in intuition and occult also the mount of saturn the mount of saturn see there are two types of intuition one is like the research types and the, this is the true saturnian and other is being emotional and being intuitive that is the moon here so that is how these but these people will uh, will be good in forecasting the future in a way and uh, these are the signs uh, which have to be checked in the palm so if you do get both of them that is the moon and the high priestess and you see a lot of these markings and uh, it can definitely indicate that you are uh, uh, very good in intuition now handwriting analysis wise okay handwriting analysis wise the minute you see a lot of loops coming in the bigger the loops okay the bigger the loops the down loops we are talking about and the bigger they are the curvier and the larger they are that will also mean good amount of imagination and good amount of interest in intuition and now going with the face reading the face reading the left eye actually refers to your moon and also the skin uh, the skin coating will determine your sensitivity and intuition if you have a very refined skin and if you see the left eye to be very deep set and having you know kind of watery eyes and it will also indicate towards a good sense of uh, intuition and uh, also see if you are checking with the intuition from the face then it's the left eye that we go for because the left eye stands for how you look at home how you, is your intuitive abilities and uh, i'll be discussing about that in much more detail in the future videos but for now you have to check into the left eye and the markings uh, therein uh, to tell about the intuition uh, the presence of intuition now if we talk about numerological sense in numerological sense the numbers which are associated with intuition is the number two people number two people are very emotional caring sensitive kind of people and they know things uh, in future to an extent they're very good in uh, guessing and uh, you know so anyone who's born on 29th 20th second of uh, or 11th of anyone generally uh, can be a bit emotional but they will be very good in intuition and they can guess things quite precisely and uh, going with another important number is the number eight and number seven seven is more of a researcher and it is more like a blind faith kind of a person this will just believe in things and because it itself is very spiritual number seven the number seven and uh, it will be very intuitive and spiritual as well whereas if we go with number eight people number eight people want to research they want to really go into depth of things and that's why uh, they also believe in occult they do feel that you know everything cannot be logical explain and something is beyond that and that's why they go and explore ahead and generally they are also good with intuition again another important number which we can take in here is number five to an extent i wouldn't say too much because number five is neutral it will accept to an ex uh, you know accept these facts to an extent because it is that flexible or to in a way it's that neutral that it will understand that 
uh, these kind of things to exist now uh, let us go with astrology astrologically how you have to check now astrologically okay uh, the uh, the the house that is related to mystics is actually house number eight okay so the house number eight becomes very important okay so this is seven this is eight so the placement of planets here suppose ketu is placed because ketu is again a very spiritual and a mystical planet so ketu in the eighth house or if the eighth house itself is uh, having a lot of planets say sun is placed here so if there are a lot of positive planets in a way in the eighth house this will make the person very very intuitive and also the intuitiveness can be checked from the twelfth house and sixth house and if in the sixth eighth and the twelfth house there are a lot of planets then that will also indicate because see twelfth house is the natural house for pisces and that's why and pisces is that kind of a sensitive you know sun, uh, a sign that uh, does attract a lot of intuitiveness so if the 12th house is also there and is having a lot of planets then again you have to also look into the placement of neptune okay neptune moon and i would say jupiter if they are also placed in you know some of the emotional signs then that uh, these planets will even amplify that say let's say in the 12th house which is the house of pisces neptune is present what will this happen this person will be too much into subconscious mind and will be very very intuitive if even moon is present here or jupiter is present in the 12th house this will also add on so you know if similar signs have these kind of planets uh, which are also emotional and uh, intuitive that is neptune moon and jupiter it will also amplify the same so uh, you know that is how we say that uh, this intuitiveness can be found out from any of these esoteric sciences and you know you have to take in the whole you have to like for example all these systems is matching that you have a person with 8th house strong 8th house you have these markings and the person gets those cards then obviously it means that the person is definitely good in intuitiveness and will get a hit uh, and will get a bit of success in the same or, or on the same in the same field so hopefully you got few more points and understood few more uh, points from this video about how to check an intuition from different esoteric sciences we'll be continuing our discussions and uh, in the further videos we will also be going into different aspects of uh, all these sciences and how they kind of connect with each other so hopefully you enjoyed this video i'm shatank into palmistry and numerology do check my channel for more thank you take care have a great day bye bye